Number six, a typical barometric pressure in Kansas City is 740 torr. What is this pressure in atmospheres, in millimeters of mercury, and in kilopascals? Okie dokie. So it looks like we're just taking one unit of pressure and converting it into all different types of pressure units. First things first though, guys, just memorize or tr just be able to identify that all of these are pressure values. So anytime that you see a TOR value, it's a pressure. ATM or atmosphere. So just know that atmosphere is ATM shorthand. That's a pressure unit. Millimeters of mercury. Well, millimeters is mm, and then mercury on the periodic table is hg. So anytime that you see millimeters of mercury, that's a pressure unit. And then kilopascals, kilo is k, and then pascals is pa. So just be able to identify all of these units. So it looks like we just have to do three different conversions here. Let's start from the top. We have 740 tor, and we want to convert it into ATM. So times by a ratio, let's just times by the ratio, throw the unit that you don't want on the other side. So tor goes on the bottom. Let's do ATM. And now I just wrote down what the four major pressure units are equivalent to. So ATM, TOR, millimeters of mercury, and kilopascals. All you have to do is just pick the units that you're working with because they're all equal to each other. So example, ATM and TOR is what we're using. One ATM, so the one would go up on the top, is equal to 760 TOR. So 760 would go on the bottom. The units of TOR would cancel, and now you're just left with the ATM. So all you gotta do is 740 divided by 760. And this would essentially be 0 0.97 ATM. So first conversion, done. Let's work on the next one. Start with what you're given. We'll do 740 tor. And now we wanna go to millimeters of mercury. But now here's a little trick, guys. Look at the tor and the millimeters of mercury. 760 tor equals 760 millimeters of mercury. It's the same numbers. So it's like a one-to-one -one conversion. For every number that you have of tor, that's the same unit in millimeters of mercury. So if I now have 740 tor, what would be the unit for millimeters of mercury? Yes, yeah, the same number. It would be just 700 and, whoop, not 60, 740 millimeters of mercury. So in this case, for tor to millimeters of mercury, you don't have to do a conversion. It's literally the same number every single time. And now we have one last one, 740 tor. We want to go to kilopascals, so times by the ratio. Put the unit that you don't want on the opposite side, so tor on the bottom kilopascals up on top and then just pick the unit 760 tor and 101.325 kilopascals so for every 760 tor you have 101.325 kilopascals the tors cancel out and now your answer will be in kilopascal so 740 times 101.325 divided by 760 and you get, if we do three sig fig, uh, actually two sig figs, we get 99. So 99 kPa or kilo pascals. And that's it. And just know this, guys, that all of these are the equivalent to each other. So 740 tor is 740 millimeters of mercury, which is 99 kilopascals, which is 0.97 ATM. Okay? So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help us out, please tell your friends, tell your classmates. Just gets the word out there uh, that, you know, this YouTube channel exists. And I thank you so much for that. I appreciate you guys. Let's keep working hard and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.